So here we are on a beautiful, beautiful day on the 9th of September and my three months solid work on Ming Ming is nearly over. So here's a bit of an update. As you can see the keel is still off but uh, hopefully that'll be on next week so we're making progress there. But the main progress if I come up the ladder here is that the the forward section of the boat is uh, pretty much completed bar a couple of coats of paint. The mass partners, the bolts are in um, to take the halyards, all of the cleats and so on have all been rebedded. So I'm um, starting to paint the, the bow section uh, and that will remain as it is pretty much until we're launched so that that's pretty much finished also starting here to get a little bit closer to Ming Ming's final livery uh, you can see here I've got a matte, matte black now at the uh, the deck join which have reinforced and eventually the whole of the hull will be matte black and the upper works will be this uh, Ming Ming grey so uh, starting just to get a slight impression of uh, what she looked like eventually. We come aft now uh, because they're going to uh, be lifting the boat to put the keel in, keel back uh, in a few days time. We're also um, using the opportunity to take the rudder out. So we've just got these two machine screws here which are probably going to have to drill out later. Um, see the, the heads of them here, but they're they're being rather um, awkward. They don't want to move, so I think we're going to have to drill them out because we don't want to um, damage the skeg. I will be reinforcing the skeg um, a bit, and it all needs it all needs redoing anyway. Uh, it doesn't look that great. Then the rudder will come out. So I can probably replace the rudder stock um, and check check the rudder very carefully because it's on a stainless steel frame with wells which are 40 years old. So um, they could be uh, very near the end of their useful life. So that's all got to be uh, redone. As we come up on deck, as you'll see, I've taken the... Um, uh, the tiller stock, the tiller fitting, uh, all off, ready for withdrawing the, uh, the the rudder. You also see here that uh, the the aft the after compartment is now uh, completely sealed. That's all foam filled. There's now um, oh, about 40 cubic feet of foam in the boat. Some. Uh, yeah, 40 cubic feet, which actually is just about enough to uh, to float it anyway. So we're getting there, but there will be a lot more going in in the way of insulation foam and, and uh, other foam uh, amidships. And drop this back. Should have put it. That's the um, the plug, the seagoing plug for the uh, for the hole. We'll come back to that probably next year. There's a lot of to do with that. We come below um, again the the main progress is all forward in that again this uh, the forward section uh, now got the the watertight bulkhead uh, is all in. I can't remember May showing that last time around but that's uh, that's all sealed uh, and phoned in. The, uh, the mast step is pretty much finished apart from a couple of stainless steel brackets that need to go on which then are, uh, take a bolt through the mast to stop it lifting. Um, but pretty much the structure of work is finished and the mast sits very nicely in there. And uh, you can see up here these are still going to be cut off the bolt ends but these are the bolts that take the um, the eye bolts which take all the halyards and parrels and 
topping this and so on. All good and strong with three quarter inch ply backing plates. Um, similarly, you can see strong backing plates there for the for the for the um, U-bolts I've put in for attachment points for my for my harness. Uh, and there'll be more of those going in. Uh, the hatch up here, well, externally it's all finished, but it still needs a bit of work on the inside. Nothing really been done uh, inside because um, we're waiting for the keel to go back and then uh, I'll be able to get the cabin sole in and over the winter maybe start thinking about the uh, the accommodation um, yeah I forgot to point out put in another 10 millimeter u-bolt there is an attachment to uh, Point two. Plus we've got the old ones out there, which were for the backstays, which I've I've left, uh, and I'll be putting a couple of very strong attachment points in the cockpit as well. So uh, so that's it. Um, starting to look as if we're making a little bit of progress now, with a bit of luck. Um, by this time next year. It'll all be finished and we can get her afloat and uh, have some tree sea trials, but there's uh, an awful lot still to do between now and then.